Christmas night was our uh, annual Jacksonville Magazine Fashion Project. It's an event we've been doing for many years. Each year we switch it up a little bit as far as how it's organized. This year was the second year where we have teams of models and designers. And they pair together, and they're unknown to each other, they've never met some of them, and they are challenged with designing looks that they'll wear on the runway with the winner, either the model or the designer, being featured on the cover of the magazine. For our type of publication, which is all about the city of Jacksonville, it's about the people, it's things to do, it's places, it's happenings, fundraisers, all those kinds of things, and creative people. And the fashion show is just another way to kind of put a different little spin on that creative side of Jacksonville because we have a surprising number of local designers who are designing everything from you know very expensive evening wear to swimsuits to everything in between. And so this allows us to kind of play on the things that the magazine does really well, which is things to do, people, and the creative side of Jacksonville. There aren't that many avenues for somebody in Jacksonville who's interested in fashion to be able to be exposed to that many people um, for an event like this. And this is also a little different because we don't want them to create pieces that you might see necessarily in a store. We want them to have fun and say, look, you're a creative person. We come up with a theme for the event and we want you to design something that fits that theme and that can be whatever you think it is. And this is more about just having the fun of it. I kind of think of it as, a, as an art show that's moving. We want them to just have fun, create stuff that they might not normally do, try things that they might not normally try just for the event for the sake of saying hey let's step out of the box and again have that experience where you have all different kinds of people coming together in various experience levels and have a good time. All the models are local girls. They all live in Jacksonville or, or Northeast Florida, San Augustine or Fernandina Beach. I guess maybe some of them are from. We send out a call to say, hey, would you like to participate in this event? Again, we've been doing it for many years, so we get quite a few who want to participate. And from there, our creative staff selects I think this year we had 20, and then they're paired with the designers, uh, unbeknownst to each other, who's gonna get whom, and they uh, collaborate and come up with the designs. For the models, there is a chance that they could do something like this, and this could be a stepping stone that can lead them to something else. We've had many models that have appeared in Jacksonville Magazine and have gone on to do national print campaigns, have been on TV. We had two models who were in Jacksonville Magazine that went on to win the, the TV show America's Next Top Model. put on an event like this, it's a difficult thing to do because you have a lot of moving parts, you're trying to keep the audience entertained, you're trying to have them see things they might not normally see, and you have to do it in a timely fashion and professionally done. The designers and the models and all the participants backstage really got into it and they wanted to put, this is their time to shine, this is their time to put their stamp out and say, hey look, I can create some, some pretty spectacular things. <laughs> As a whole, I think it was it was a pretty special thing to uh, to see happen. And in Jacksonville, uh, again, a place that doesn't have a ton of fashion shows, uh, certainly not professional quality. Um, I think it was pretty special. So I think this was probably the best show we've ever done as far as the creative side. We just see it as this is an extension of the things that we talk about and we write about in Jacksonville. It's all about the people and the creative side and the things to do and the ways to get involved. You get a good group of people and they take pride in it and they want to do a good job for no other reason than, than they're excited about it. And they think, hey, this is, I'm showcasing not only us, but the city of Jacksonville, what I do, what the city can be, and that we're able to share that not only in the magazine and then also via the show, that's a pretty neat thing. It's a special night for us. <laughs>